Well, hello, another review. Um, what I've got this time is some quad motors. These are the um, DYS 2206-2600kV, um, which sounds completely mental. And I suppose it's called fire, perhaps for a reason. <laughs> it's probably what's gonna happen to my LiPo after, after this gets done with it. Uh, looking at them, they kind of look uh, kind of bog standard. They're these uh, these hollow point ones again, um, but 2600 kV on a 2206 motor on 4S just sounds like it's going to be crazy. Um, I've already started apologising to my lipos, but yeah, I've got a couple of quads that I've got a couple of motors which are getting a bit dodgy. Um, I've had to up the ear seal on these ones because this can this can pull more. So I've got 35 ampere C's. Let's get this um, on a quad with its its three brothers and let's see what it can do. Well, hello again. Time's moved on and um, I've put these motors on this quad. This is uh, an MPX230 Elite I'm testing for a magazine. Um, and it's got all the sort of normal things on there, you know, the the 177 camera, uh, an F3 board, uh, these motors with um, 50-45 blunt nose tri A couple of things to say, the motors feel really very smooth and you get that lovely swish sound and um, you, can, you can feel the magnets in there really engage. So they feel really good. But I'm having to degrade this to, to more of a first look than a review, and that's because it tried to kill my lipos. My little 1.3 uh, Nanotech 45 to 90C barely survived um, what this thing could do. The, the, but the real problem I've got is this quad was really wobbly, and I think it's the flight controller. I had it on a different quad, and it was wobbly then. And I thought, ah, oh, maybe the motor's going a bit funny. I put it on this one, it's exactly the same. Um, it's hard for me to suspect these motors at the moment because they all feel very smooth. The ESC's checked out okay. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to change that flight control over and have, uh, well, before I can do a proper test and uh, get a seriously higher seed battery because these things are pretty, pretty drainy. I also had a double fail in terms of recording this. Um, I was thought I was recording with this, and I noticed it was off, and I was like, oh, what is the battery this thing like? I hadn't put the SD card in. Tried getting some external shots on the GoPro, put it on the tripod, had it all on, didn't press record. So all I have is some shaky DVR footage. But let me show you a bit of this, just to show you the demonstration of how it sagged the hell out of my LiPo, which is normally absolutely fine when I fly my quads with it. Take a look at this. So let's start with this clip because I'd just taken off and the idea was I had the GoPro recording and so I wanted to see a full throttle punch out to see what would happen. And it get pleasantly up in the air so it's, you know, gets nice and high. But what did it do to my battery? Well, let's take another look at that. We punch up and if I stop it, it down to 11.6 volts from 16.8. Oh my God. So this is just on a regular flight, and I feel like it's going to be pretty quick, or it could be quick, but every time I really try and put the throttle on, two things happen. One is the LiPo just sags to nothing. The other thing is the camera angle wasn't up enough. So I can't really get any speed because I'm just looking at too much ground. But it seemed to cover the ground fairly quickly. But as you can see here, that I'm not happy at all with the, the shakiness this flight controller has given me. Uh, I wanted to double check it with the camera mounting, but of course, as I said, I managed to forget to put the SD card in the uh, the Firefly, so I didn't get any recording. But this is shifting about way too much. It's, it's not a natural thing at all. And I did do some tuning on it, and um, I couldn't get it to shift. Pretty much carried on as before. So yeah, definite swap out needed. So I'm guessing to get the most out of these 2600 motors, you need to be seriously into your speed for short distances. I'm thinking one of those tiny little X frames with the stuff in the middle, a hugely high C rating battery, and prepared to race hard for two minutes 
and then stop. For the rest of us, um, I'm thinking the 2300 kV of this motor is possibly uh, a better idea. There's a 2100 kV as well. It's also worth pointing out that uh, this configuration, so the 5045 blunt nose free blade, will pull 34.8 amps at full chat. Um, I've got 35 amp speed controllers in there, so they just survived. Uh, but yeah, well, this is them. Links in the bottom, of course. I'm going to try these again when I can replace this flight controller for something that works, and I think I'd better upgrade the batteries. But um, yeah, stay tuned. We'll see what happens next time. Bye for now.